OK, so there's a few um, improvements and additions. Um, the first thing is that the um, images are loaded much faster by um, using a pointer rather than the um, Python conversion. Um, it still takes a bit of time to load a model. Um, but that could, could be the same issue um, converting it to C types. Um, so there's two things. I've managed to get the um, light and the material rendering working OK. Um, I'm limiting it to one material or texture per group. So I've had to break the model up into three different um, objects in Blender. A green, a pink and a black object. Um, and I'm basically um, mapping a, an 8x8 image. Um, when I use um, PNG, and even though it's not transparent at all, and I use the load texture alpha, I end up with a strange see-through effect, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and the thing is, the water um, I'm using, I've kind of constructed a, an egg texture card. So basically, I've got 128 um, Perlin noise and PNG files with transparent areas um, and they're wrapping round so they're, they tile both in, in okay, three dimensions it's back in time and in X and load texture alpha as you can see up here um, and this, is, this isn't in the um, load model but anyway um, now what's happening is you can actually see through the non-black parts of the model and um, see a strange kind of ruby and emerald style effect and um, not so attractive but it's not what it's supposed to do and the other thing is the um, is to get the smoothing the um, the normal, the vertex normals are um, set to show a smooth pattern in Blender, but uh, that doesn't, doesn't carry through into um, Pi 3D, so um, I obviously need something else doing. Which might be simple, and um, Tim might know what to do. Yeah, amazing that it works on such a small little computer.